we are we are officially live, by the way. We are live. <laughs> well, you know. Oh, poor you. I know, right? <laughs> like Unless it's terrible. Unless it's like three hours of terrible, <laughs> and then that's like a torture thing. It's actually two hours and twenty nine minutes. Two hours. All right. And we and just and got hours. we just got our guest. He's rolling in, and we got nice audio, and we got visual. Like everything is coming together, folks. Oh, everything yeah. is coming, and we got Derek Becker on the line. Derek, what's up, my man? <laughs> What's going on, Mike? How we were doing? we were battling some technical difficulties, but we are a hundred percent like rolling now, which we're is rolling, exciting. And here comes our what's it? Yeah. Hi, yeah. welcome yeah. to the party. Yeah, yeah. so we're oh really my good. God. So where have you been? <laughs> you missed the whole show. <laughs> so we are we are now officially rolling, and that is a good thing. We are talking Infinity War. We are doing a death draft. We got we got no time to waste. This is just like, boom, we got to go into Infinity War Death Draft. So here's what we're doing. It's Marvel Infinity War. Introduce the guest. Well, he was late. That's his problem. Oh, he doesn't get any <laughs> right. awesome. Casey from Bad Cowdy Funky is here. <laughs> I, actually, I actually already flipped the, uh, that, that, uh, that off, and we're showing, we're showing Infinity War clips. Now, so unless you're catching us on the podcast, by the way, which we are live on iTunes, we're, uh, we're on iHeartRadio, we're on SoundCloud, Secrets of the Sire. Go check us all out. Um, yeah, there we go. Infinity War comes out Friday. Yep. That's what they say. Well, technically Thursday night. That's what they say. Everyone's been talking about Infinity War, and everyone's been talking about who's going to die. So the cool thing to do in this particular case... For the record, I haven't been talking about that. Yeah, okay. Saying. But you are, you are a counterculture like inf- aficionado. Like, well, you enjoy... the takes from Hassan. <laughs> you, go, you, like going, you like going completely against the grain. Right. I want to know who's going to live. Right, exactly. I, w- I want to know who's going to be born in the movie. It's um, complete opposite of who's going to die. Yeah. Are there babies in Infinity Wars? Yeah. I doubt that. No. Seriously. What? So well, then I should okay. go. So anyway, so I should, I everyone should aside from Hassan <laughs> <laughs> wants to know who's going to die. So this is what we're doing. Okay. okay. We've got we've got five podcasters. We've got Derek Becker from Comic Pros and Cons. We've got Bevan from the Adultish Podcast. We got Casey from Bad Cowie Funky. We got Lord of the Radio himself, who's always here, who's always here. and <laughs> wow, we've got me, we're who's also, always there. who's also <laughs> always there. Yes, this is that's the whole point. Yeah. Um, we've also got Sam, who's going to be representing TalkRadio.nyc. So six teams. Woo. Okay, all right. We're going to draft a team full of characters. We have about thirty-nine we're draft characters. Draft a team per team. Yeah, we're going to go, once that player has been selected, once that character has been selected, he's off the board. He or she okay. is off the board. Okay. We're going to accumulate a team. We're going to get a team of maybe four or five. As you select, we're not just going to pick, right? I don't, want you to, I don't want you to be like, I pick Captain America. Okay, great, next. <laughs> I don't know why. You're picking them. Right. All right, we're going to talk. We'll speed up probably toward the end of the, of the, of the contest because um, we're just going to have to. Right. Um, right. And, and <laughs> quite frankly, there are some folks time. where we kind of know they're not going to die. You know, so we'll skip Black through. And there's, and there's, um, <laughs> <laughs> we got sequels in the making. <laughs> right, right. So I mean, that one's not Ant-Man. going anywhere. Ant Man's movie is like supposedly right after. Yeah, he's not, uh, he's not even in the. Yeah, so anymore. I mean, that's that's the thing. So we definitely have a bunch. We're also going to listen to some, uh, some of our commenters. Um, Sam, you can you can uh, as the talk radio representative can check out the Facebook feed, and if a commenter has a suggestion for somebody, we'll go with the commenter as well. So we're getting the audience involved. So again. If you're listening to us on the podcast, we love you and thank you for downloading us. If you're listening to us live on Facebook.com slash Secrets of the Sire, then that is great too. Derek, did you get all that? Yes, I did. All right. So wow. he's he's like nice. he's ready to go. Johnny Wellens is on. This is great. So this is good. We got we got we got a bunch of people on that are, that are hey, gonna enjoy it. Your this. sister is on. Hi, yes. sister. Hi, She's Stephanie. It's actually, technically my mom. What? She she doesn't have a your Facebook account. Your sister's technically your mom? No. Wow. <laughs> 
That's a <laughs> story a for a whole other day. No. That's a super fan and supporter of the show. <laughs> yes, my uh, my mom watches through my sister's Facebook account because uh, she does not have Facebook. Okay, uh, that clears a lot up. Thank yeah. you for that. Yeah, thank you. Yeah. Now, Bevan, <laughs> like you had you, mm-hmm. <laughs> you had a question. Yes, the yeah. ground rules. What, yes. What constitutes a death? See, I was oh, going to ask that. Oh, that is question. exactly. That was the that was the question Bevan had as well too. Because there's there's two specific questions I want to uh, just clarify here. If they die and come back, meaning if they die and come back in the first film, die or come back in the second film, what what is what is that? How's I'm going to throw that to the to the group. What do you think, Hassan? We'll start with you. If they die and come back in the first film, in this film, does that so, count as a death? Right. If they die and don't come back in this film, but come back in the second film, it constitutes death. We're only we're only focused on the first film. Yeah, so you that, can't. If you come back in this film, then you didn't die. Then you didn't film. die. Do you right. get half a point? No. There's no. There's no, no. points you if you die. die and come back. You did not die. No. Okay. We we draw the line when that second stinger is over. If they're dead <laughs> when that second stinger comes up after the long, long credits. Oh, okay. Oh, that's that's a good question oh, too. Yeah. Now post credits if they come post back to life. Credits. In the post credits. Yeah, but that all counts as one film. Right? Well, but I would say this, though, and I'll use Justice League, as, or not Justice League, uh, I'll use Batman v Superman as the example. Must right? you? I, I, yeah, why? It's the one that came to no, mind. No, no, no. The, ground, DCU, the hey. ground floats up, meaning Superman's going to come back, but he hasn't. No, we need, that didn't we count. need confirmation of a death. That didn't count. Technically, I'm he sorry. never died in the comics either. No, no, we're not. We're, no, <laughs> but it I'm doesn't doing, even yeah. matter because, because it still took an event mm. to bring him back. In yes. in uh, in Justice League, yes. So it wasn't like he was in the coffin alive. He still had to. Yes. It was just a teaser. It had nothing to do with uh, the reality of the of the story. Okay. I want to see a body. Here, <laughs> here, I thought it was just the, that movie that died, but that's a completely <laughs> movie that died. I agree, sir. I agree. So, I does anybody need me to run off the list of names? Because there's a ton of names here. Um, but I can give you a f- I, I can give you the helping hand if you need to. Other, yeah. other than the usual suspects, what are those? What are some surprise ones? I think I saw Stanley on that list. Stanley's on the I list. Think. I did put yeah. Stanley on the list. His blood is is that's available a, for uh, bad timing, my that's friend. A little <laughs> that's a little, a little sensitive right now. The fact what? That too soon? Yeah, a little, a little. bit. Too I mean, soon? Well, and that's the other question, Mike, does he have to die on screen? Yes, yes, he, it has to be on screen. It's an on screen death. Ooh. That is an on screen okay. death. No right. question about it. We got that one, too. Definitely on-screen death. Okay. Here we go. We're going to do the draft order. Sam is going to pick names. I wrote everyone's name down in a hat. We are going to announce the way a draft works. Uh-huh. If you get the first pick, you get to pick first, which is great. Okay. If you get the last pick, you actually get pick six and seven. You get back-to-back picks, and yeah, then it yeah, snakes. I have no idea what you're talking about It right snakes now. back the other way. So <laughs> if, you're first, if, you're, if you pick first, you go first. If you pick second, you pick second. Third, fourth, fifth, sixth. And then we snake back six, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, five, uh, six. Can okay. you just tell me when it's my turn? Yeah, yeah I will. Okay. Yeah, I, will. Right. I, I realize also for my listeners out there, I'm in a room that. full of people that don't watch sports. <laughs> so I'm in a lot of sh- Hey, look who got the first pick. <laughs> The sire. Oh, ah, that that is me Fix. for anybody out there. Yeah, no. Fix. Put that That's on there. rigged. Sam's the one that picked it though, so <laughs> yeah. I, mean, I can't. You know, you slipped yeah. him a twenty. Yeah. <laughs> how many how many ones of your name are in that bag? Mm-hmm. Yeah. They're, they're all, they all say. <laughs> Actually, I I chilled I chilled I chilled the post-it note so he knew which one to pick. That's how it. That's pick how it the works. Cold okay. one. He picked the cold okay. one. All right. Who, so who is who is the next pick? No, here we go. Bad Coyote Funky Casey gets oh. the second pick in the draft. I think he should go last for being late. That's true, but he yeah, got in in time. Uh, he got in time. in time. That's true. Third pick, Bevan from the Adultish Ooh. Podcast. Thank you, thank you. I see how this pattern's going. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord of the Radio gets fourth pick. All right, so Hassan, you will be picking fourth in this. Gotcha. Contest. Number what? Talk Radio <laughs> is picking s- fifth. Derek, you from Comic Pros and Cons will be picking sixth and then seventh. So you actually get back-to-back picks, which can work in your favor if that is the case. All right. So I am going to kick us off before we go to break because it's 8-11, which is good. Mm. We're going to go with the first pick in the draft. And I think the obvious one to go with I- – I have to do it. I didn't think I was going to get first pick, but I'm going to do it. It's got to yeah, be yeah. Captain America, right? 
He's got no contract after this, right? After the Avengers movie. Well, you're movie, thinking about the actor. He's out. Doesn't matter. But all think factors, of the circumstances of the... Of all the... factors apply. Captain America's died in the comics. Yep. Uh, Captain America has, has, I think, at some point in the, in the Infinity Gauntlet series gets killed. So there's, there's just there's so many things. But what if the mantle survives? I was about to say, wait, st- stop. <laughs> stop. Ooh. I mean, no, it doesn't Chris count. Evans' Captain America. We're going with the Captain America. <laughs> the mantle, you know, anybody yeah, can put on an count. Iron Man helmet. We're, we're, yeah. That's way too deep. Well, well that's on you because he's already said he's in the fourth film. That, so. Oh. But he could die. See? Another spoiler. You just don't know how to stop. <laughs> just <laughs> stop. Yes, it is. How is that a spoiler? Because we know Chris Evans is coming back for the fourth film. He could First be all, in a flashback, though. It it doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Flashback. Does it? No. He could be. You're not going to have him come back. First He's not going to announce that was, that's it. That's a two-year-old thing that they've said. Ladies and gentlemen, the time stone is in play. The time stone is in play. <laughs> yep. It's fair game for anyone to return in a sequel. Yeah, but, and that doesn't matter. We don't care about the sequel. We just care if they end up dead at the end of this movie. It's a good choice, sir. It's a good choice. Okay, fine. I think so. All right, before we go to break, Casey, number two. I'm going to go with the Norse god of mischief himself, ooh. Loki, That's a, ooh. as my pick. That's uh, an early Well done, sir. Pick. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm pulling him right away. Uh, perhaps a surprise choice, but as many of us know coming out of Thor Ragnarok, Loki's character arc is done. He's gone full circle from bad guy to better guy to maybe mm. good guy. Mm-hmm. Chance at redemption, first 20 minutes of the film. Yeah, and you he know? was the one that brought Thanos there originally. And he's got the cube. He's holding one. That's a, w- that's a win, but you're factoring in the fact that Loki never gets killed. He always ends up putting like a shadowy figure. So there's a risk. There's risk in what you're doing. You know, I, I think it's a bold play, but it's going to pay off. And I like that very much. All right, when we come back, Bevan is on the board. Great. I already know what I'm doing. You're listening to the Talking Alternative Network.
be talking all about the movie. Very, very cool. You can cool. also find us on adultish.tv and fanbolt.com. Very cool. Excellent. And my choice yeah. is almost, I think, obvious as well, especially if he's going to collect all of the gems, stones. Yes, Vision. Vision uh -huh. is going down. Ooh, Vision. That's a great pick. That's uh -huh. a great pick because he's got an Infinity Gem right He's in got his, an Infinity in Gem right, thing. and it's his source of life. And if he is going to collect all of the stones, I feel like that one's going down. I, I think that's an excellent pick, and I think that is exactly what we're going to do. All right, great. So we're going to go Vision is next, and Vision is off the board. Uh, coming up next, who is the fourth pick in the draft? It is Mr. Lord of the Radio. Iron Man. Okay, that was easy. Ooh. Why Iron Man? Oh, I don't know. We, we can go the Bevan route and just say because we know for a fact that RDJ is not going to be in any more of the uh, Marvel movies. We don't know that, actually. We we can speculate. Yeah. Okay. There's, a little, there's heavy speculation that he's kind of done with it. Yeah. Um, also, he also gets smashed in the trailer. I mean, we did see yeah, that. Yeah, but also you know? he's got a lot of uh, narrative responsibility. Like, he's got a lot of... Uh, um, He's got a lot of threads that need to be closed out. So there would be another, a huge emotional get if they killed him off. It would be it would be yeah, huge, oh, it would be see. very crippling to wow, the, to the you know, entire story. They ba they baited us with it before in 2012. Quick sidebar real quick. We had Christina Anapal from True Blood on a couple weeks ago and she really classed up our podcast like yeah. she was really good. <laughs> Hassan, that answer kind of class this up a little bit you're oh. like you're like wow the emotional punch of losing iron man we're just like vision's got a jewel in his head <laughs> captain, america, captain america has no contract <laughs> i started with contracts so yeah i did yeah but i i you know i threw in a little poetry at the end that was face. that was that was pretty deep that my was personal deep. feeling is i don't think that they will i hope that they don't I again you, we're not going to speculate on which which okay. choice is right or wrong no, 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 I know. What are you in that's that next week. No, I'm just no. saying. We are, actually. We yeah, yeah, but we're not do done with picking our teams yet. No, no, it's so. okay. That's the No, 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 no. Right. no. Iron Man is off <laughs> the board. Sounds, uh, sounds furious. All right, we're up next <laughs> with Mr. Sam. This is the least mad I ever get. Talk radio. Uh -oh. NYC. He's going Nick Fury. He's going to go voiceless, too. He totally, he totally avoided the... The whole vocalizing. Yeah, you can actually like say yeah. stuff if you <laughs> the want. The whole vocalizing you know, like, of his choice. Of you guys. <laughs> wow. All right. So he went Nick Fury. I, you know, that's, Nick, that's yeah. That's that. that all right. That's another. That'd be another emotional get. I do want to say I appreciate the covert way. Oh, yeah. It's it's very and it was true like, to the character. Did you notice the sleight of hand? Too? Oh, yeah. it was like, Nick Fury. Thank wow. you. All right. Should, should that's yeah. yeah. All right. <laughs> Nick Fury. Yep. Nick Fury. Derek. So far, you're yeah. up. You're up. Uh, you have back-to-back -back picks. You get to pick two. But so far, we have Chris Evans, Captain America, went off the board to me. Tom Hiddleston, Loki, went to Casey. Uh, Bevan went with Vision. Hassan, Iron Man, and Sam with a wild card with Nick Fury. Uh, what do you think of the top five so far that have been picked? And then give us your next two. So far, all of the answers have been really smart, except for yours. That's very, very accurate. <laughs> That's generally how it works. That's good. I yeah, like that. Actually, like, uh, there, there's, uh, there's a lot of reasoning that's gone into those choices as to why I've got my own selection as well. Um, the one thing I, I, I think is being left out with the next Fury is that it opens the door for Maria Hill to step forward into, into that Ooh. leadership role. Yeah, there and she's go. in it. And she's in it. Yep. Yeah. Yep. So my... My first choice, uh, I, I can't believe that this was not already taken, was Nebula. Ah, yeah. You already yeah. know yeah. that yeah. she's going to go after Thanos. You know that she's driven by emotion. And that is fuel when she dies for Gamora and the rest of the Guardians of the Galaxy to join the fight. Okay. Right. Second, okay. Spider-Man. What? What? For Tony Stark to do it. Plus, Marvel doesn't own all the rights. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Ah, wipe the slate clean. All right, you basically had me thinking, what an awful pick until you said that last part. <laughs> like yeah. seriously, Spider Man, because Spider Man's like the one guy. They're like, we finally got him back. Yeah. yeah. Now again, the yeah. rules of this game is he's just got to be dead at the end of yeah, this. Yeah, just just this yeah. movie. Yeah. Gamora is a great uh, pick, also because of the same reason of uh, of Iron Man. Is that she has no more story responsibilities after yeah. after the Thanos thing? Yeah. So I mean, you know, other than like you you string her out for Nebula, uh, Nebula not Gamora. No, it is. 
No, he, but, uh, one's green, uh, one's blue. Different. Green, yeah. green, blue, who cares? Nebula, Nebula and Loki are basically the same yeah. use on that, too. You know, their storyline has come full circle. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's uh, I think that's yeah, that's, good. A, that's, right. that's probably a good bet. Okay. All right. You pick two. We're going right back to Sam Talk Radio. No one said it, so sure. Oh, yeah. Oh. Uh, Door's uh. an easy one, right? Because, again, no contract after these movies. He kind of wants out. <laughs> um, again, the mantle could continue. There's the female Thor in the comics. Right, right. There's Beta Ray Bill. Right. Do we really, Do we really want that? Natalie Portman in the starring role of a Thor film? No. <laughs> Not really. Well, no, but, you know. I don't mind. <laughs> I mean, I'm just ready for a scene where we can get, Mangog, you killed the younglings of Asgard. <laughs> it's going to happen. The unemotional Thor. Oh. The unemotional Thor. I'm ready. All right. So we are moving right along here. We've got right Spider-Man and Thor off the board. We're going to go over to Hassan now with the Hulk. ninth. Okay. Whoa. With the ninth pick in the draft. It's going Hulk, really? An incredible hot take. Yeah. I'm going to disagree with you 100%. I think Hulk makes it out no matter I don't matter care what. if you disagree with no, me. No, but I, that's, we're at a show. Yeah, should I should talk about it. You know, no. That's no. people are listening. He doesn't want no, people we're not to. supposed to agree with anything. So it's like if you, you disagree, and I don't care that you disagree. I disagree with your disagreement. You disagree with my disagreement? Yeah. And that's how we get it on. I disagree with your disagreement and my disagreement. I like disagree that. with your disagreement and my disagreement Why and do you, you disagree. Hulk? Why do you think Hulk? Um, because it hurts you right now. <laughs> 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 Whoa! But how could you pick something in anticipation of my reaction? Cause, like that's because that's how good I am. Holy, kid, that, that's working on like meta levels. <laughs> I feel like we're in a Mexican Unseen. standoff of words. Right? Um, Anybody's ready to drop? I thought drop. we were debating these things. You know, for for the kind of the same <laughs> reasons, he's got. Right you know, right. there's an emotional there's an emotional draw between him and uh, Black Widow. Okay. You know, and the last time we saw him, just before Ragnarok, he was kind of disappearing. And he's kind of a tragic figure either way, you know, okay. and no matter how you slice it. So there's a, there's a good bet. And he's not getting his own movies. They're never giving him his own movies. So okay. <laughs> there's a possibility he's not going to make it out of that. All right. What's up, Bob? We'll see. I see you on the screen. Yeah, Bob is chiming in. But Bob is giving a suggestion, and uh, we'll, we'll see if uh, Sam, the next time he picks... Uh, takes the suggestion. Or not? He's represent. He's representing our audience. Want, want and to be himself. clear that Bob says that I win so far. So, well, you only picked <laughs> once. So you well, know. that's true. Yeah, we'll see. Thanks for the faith, Bob. That being said, you're up. Oh, great. Oh, well, so I actually no. I think it's if anybody it's needs a, if anybody oh, needs backwards. a couple of shout outs too of characters, I have them. I actually all don't down know here, how but... to pronounce the Idris Elba character, but that's the one. I Heimdall. Think. Heimdall. Heimdall. There you go. You He's know, dying. Heimdall, really? Ooh. Wow. Here's okay. my thought about it. Is he even it. in the movie? He is he, in the he movie. He is in the movie. Uh-huh. Yeah. Uh, he's doomed. And this is not a post-credit <laughs> uh, spoiler because it was at the end of Thor Ragnarok. The ship has been approached by Thanos' ship at the end of the scene. So in my theory, I think something is going down at the beginning where... We're yeah, we're so- losing a whole bunch of people in the beginning. We're going to lose a whole bunch of people in the beginning. It's going to be Asgardians. And Idris Elba is a busy guy. If we're going to go with contracts, too, he's a busy guy. He doesn't need the Thor, <laughs> mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. What, whatchamacallit, the Thor merchandise, the Thor. He doesn't need it right now. All right. Yeah, it's and I think it's, I think it's a, a tertiary character that if he died, you know, people wouldn't be necessarily, like, heartbroken over, so he could be collateral damage. Yep. I, think it's a, I think it's a very good one. Uh, all right. Casey, you're up. So, for the same reason that Nebula was Damn already it, you're chosen. Take her, damn it. Of I was course, take I'm going to take her. Shoot. I'm so glad Hassan didn't take her because yeah. I was like, uh, ne- I'm choosing Gamora. Yeah. For, yeah. for the sole reason uh, that yeah, she's. Her character arc is basically the same as Nebula's, except for the fact that she. It would be way more emotionally devastating. Yeah, I, hey. I I think you're gonna lose both of them. To be honest with you, yeah, I really do. And, and I think Zoe's out. Uh, Zoe's I don't think so at all. Yeah, me neither. She uh, doesn't want to be doing this movie. She does. She's a two and out kind of girl. So this is like three. Like at this point, you know, she's yeah, complaining she about is... Avatar. She's like, I don't want to do Avatar after number two. Yeah, you know. she is in uh, uh, Guardians three. No, I know, I know. So but that's know. four. Right. Hey, l- okay. listen. Hey, wait a minute. Wait a minute. That's a spoiler. No, it's not. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> Wait, so whoa. Now you kind of see what I deal with on a weekly basis, <laughs> where the logic only works to support his point. Wait a when minute. When you do the reverse logic, it's like, no, 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 that doesn't when make When you any practice sense. in logic, you can manipulate logic to make sense. I mean, I'm fine with him saying ah. that, but like, that's also technically a spoiler. No, it's not. 
Okay, sorry. Okay, No, we're all right. But yeah, she would she would have the emotional punch that I think Nebula lacks uh, as a motivator for the Guardians to really step into the action. Yeah. All right. Uh, you know, you're giving me a tough choice now for the final pick of this round, and then we'll go to commercial break after this. Um, just I'll throw a couple names out just so we you know we kind of have who's still on the board. You know, we have War Machine still on the board. We have Falcon still on the board. Uh, we've got most of the Guardians of the Galaxy still on the board. Um, Black Widow, Black Panther. But I'm – oh, it's a tough choice now. I hate that you took Gamora because that was going to be my pick, but I'm going to lean toward between these two. I'm going to lean between Scarlet Witch or Hawkeye because both of them kind of have a role. And they kind of serve their role. <laughs> Are we sure Hawkeye's in this movie? Because he's yeah, still I'm not sorry. on the poster. I'm not sold. I'm not sold that he's even in this one. I am going to go with Hawkeye for that exact reason. Because he may not, not be not even in the on film. on the poster. <laughs> I think also, I mean, he has, a histo- he has had a death in the comics, not in Infinity Gauntlet yeah. per se. Well, the comics... Killed I mean, by you your other really, maybe choice. You yeah. can't really go by the comics because both he and, the, and, and uh, Black Widow have a huge alternate ending in the yeah. in the ultimates in the comic books. Yeah. It's, it's a yeah. very <laughs> I don't even think they're going to go for that in the movies. All right, when we come back, I'm going to make my next pick. Very yeah, fine. You're listening to the Talking Alternative Network. into comics, movies, and pop culture at large? What about music and TV? Exactly. Like, uh, Are th- is that picture. Swarovski? Exactly. No, no, no. We're good. Yeah. There's definitely, yeah, <laughs> yeah. there's definitely a trophy. It's got the so, fiction glow on it. Every time we look at it, it's just, <laughs> we're just like glowing on it. So we are through two rounds. We're most likely going to get 
three more. I think we can get three more before the end of the uh, the end of the show. Yeah. And I'm going to post on our Facebook page, facebookcom slash sire. Uh, the rundown of everyone that's been picked so Sox. far. We are at uh, pick number 12. Or actually, we just finished pick number 12. And uh, we are at pick number 13. I just posted. Come on. I don't know why my... Oh, Jesus. This is... Facebook's terrible. Okay, well, anyway. Here is the rundown of what we've got so far. For the, with the first pick, I had Captain America off the board. Uh, second pick went to Casey, which was Loki. Vision to Bevan. Iron Man to Hassan, Nick Fury, Talk Radio, Nebula to Derek, Spider-Man to Derek, Thor to Talk Radio, Hulk to Lord of the Radio himself, Hassan, Heimdale goes to Bevan from the Adultish Podcast, Gamora to Casey from Bad Cowdy Funky, back to me and Hawkeye, and then I realized, as Brian Everham pointed out in our comments feed, I have back-to-back picks, so I said it's a tough choice between Hawkeye and Scarlet Witch. I don't have to choose. I'll take them both. So with the thirteenth pick, we're going Scarlet Witch. Bang! All right. Worst, worst pick out there, Mike. Oh, I don't <laughs> think so. I think Spider Man is yeah. actually the worst pick. Is I it really three do. of the worst I think picks Black in a row? Panther is the worst pick. Well, it hasn't been picked yet. I understand. Yeah, no, but here's, here's my reasoning, though. Yeah. Since you don't have, you know, a, a, a Delphi ray in this to go and change everything back the very easy out without having to use you know um time warps and everything else is use scarlet witch it's the no more mutants thing all over again but not in the first movie has she shown reality warping it looks just like telekinesis to me yeah well i mean you know you open the door you got the door there but again if we were saying the Infinity War saga, which then we wouldn't have a winner for like a year, yeah. um, I would agree with you. But for this particular movie, uh, I see what you're saying. She's got to live in order to make to it live. to the second movie. Yeah, right. Maybe it is a bad pick. But either way, it's my show. I think it's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's my out for everything. That's my reverse logic on Hassan okay. whenever, whenever he tries to do it. All right. Speaking of so you see what I Hassan, have you don't get to go yet. It is Bevan's turn. No, it's actually, I think, Casey's, Casey's turn. It is. Oh, you didn't this pick This would yet. be so much easier if it was seating right, pick, I assure you. Yeah. I'm ready. Are you ready? Pick it. All right. I'm ready. I'm going with the big man himself, oh. Thanos. You think Thanos dies in this movie? I think he's dying before the end of the movie. Wow. Yeah. All right. So now goes the worst pick. Is goes to that one now. Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. <laughs> Give me a little credit here. The guy becomes all-powerful. We know to lose, he'd have to lose it and become mortal again. Depending on how you've read the Infinity Gauntlet storyline, mm-hmm, you mm-hmm. may see there is room for a fatal mistake that he might allow himself. But I'll tell you, if you go by track records of villains surviving Marvel movies, uh-huh. the odds are against him. Uh, that's a good, good point. But again, will he survive this one? That's the question. Don't think right. so. Not bad. Not bad. I'll, I'll, I'll bite. Definitely the worst one. All right, Bevan. <laughs> so mine actually comes from a lot of logic as well. Uh, I'm going to go with Doctor Strange. Ooh. Ooh. Reason being, he also has a stone. Thanos needs to get the stone. Does he really want to leave somebody alive after he's taken the stone? Also, too, there's not any announcement plan for a Doctor Strange sequel. Uh. Oh, this is very true and as well. There is nothing on track that Benedict Cumberbatch is going to come back. He's got that new Showtime show coming out. He's also kind of like artsy and stuff, so he yeah. might not want to do this anymore. Uh-huh. He's, you know, he's They're all trying to get him to do another season of Sherlock. He's like, I'm busy, but here's the thing. <laughs> he's like, I'm Benedict Cumberbatch. I don't I'm, need to do I things. I don't need to do things. <laughs> I don't need to work. And so I'm thinking he's going to bite the bullet. All right. that's. Uh, I think that's well-reasoned, much better than Thanos. I think that's a great uh, <laughs> pick. It's no Scarlet Witch. <laughs> But, you know, we can't all, we can't all pick Oh, that. my pick is better than Scarlet Witch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. Agreed. With the Thank 16th you. pick in the draft, the Lord of the Radio picks. I'm going to pick the Kenny of the Marvel Universe. I'm going to say Coulson dies again. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. That's funny. That's great. No, we, S.H.I.E.L.D.'s probably not coming back for season six. They still don't know he's alive yet. Yeah. And then no. we, we really... <laughs> No. If Joss Whedon was directing the film, I'd say it's a <laughs> shoo-in for him to die. Yep. I would say it's a shoo-in. I can just see. He, he gonna... pops in, hey, guys. And then yeah, and <laughs> just gets killed. <laughs> <laughs> Zapped. 
<laughs> I'm, here, I'm here to help. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> Oh my god, they killed Colson. <laughs> you bastards. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> he was the heart of the team. Yeah, right. Uh, all right. Even though we didn't know he was not alive. Yeah, right. Yeah, <laughs> this entire time. <laughs> all right, that's, uh, yeah, uh, all right. Not bad, not bad at all. all right, we were rounding out to 17. This is the third pick, third round here. Uh, Talk Radio NYC. Now, are you picking for you or are you picking for the audience? Because I know we saw a couple suggestions in the audience there. I think Falcon is a logical choice to not die. Yeah, so Falcon's the new, the new cap, though. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. he probably will make it. Oh, our audience has let Sam down again. Once again. <laughs> and really failed. And <laughs> he can't trust the audience. Yeah, no, and I think there's a, there would be a, there's a behind-the-scenes push for that storyline to kind of go, yeah. where he kind of takes the mantle. It's either him or Winter Soldier, who hasn't been picked yet. Oh, oh, oh no. nah. ding. Nah. Nine-picture oh. deal. Marvel gives him a house made of gold. I don't think so. Right. <laughs> I'm not standing for Stan on this one. All right. All right, Derek, you get the final pick of the third round and the first pick of the fourth round. Uh-huh. All right, um... Or in the fourth and third round. Very, very similar yeah, yeah. reasoning on these. Uh, I'm going with Rocket and Groot. Both. Oh. Ooh, Rocket and Groot. Okay. Both at massive emotional heartstrings of the fans because they're the cutest characters out there. Everybody loves, you know. I like that. Dancing baby Groot. And I'm sorry, but Rocket, like if you saw a dog die on screen, you're going to cry when they kill a little trash panda too. Yeah. So, it's, now, here's the other main reason that's from a filmmaking standpoint. They're both CG characters. You can have very visual deaths with them without having to do crazy stunts or anything else. Nice. Okay. That's a good good point. All right. I like that. I think that's a good one. Um, here's one question for you, though. Groot's already died and come back. Exactly. But uh, – Correction. No, actually, that's his son. According to James Gunn, it is Groot Jr. Oh, it's Groot Jr. It is not the first Groot. All right. All right. High five for you. We can see the high five. We like to do our research. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Except for him picking Thanos. I don't understand that one. I'm ready. <laughs> I'll be laughing next week. Now, uh, Brian Phillips also chimed in on the Facebook feed, so we got another suggestion from the audience. And uh, so when Sam picks again, that will be now. Well, actually, I'm going Stan Lee. You're going Stan What? All right, all right, we'll go. Yeah, all right. Wait, who did he pick? Oh, oh, that one. He picked Stan the Man, the He'll living do legend. Stan now. <laughs> all right, he's going Stan Lee. He's wow. going Stan Lee. They're Stan gonna kill Lee. Stan Lee's gonna character. Kill Stan Lee off. I, yeah, on I, film. I, I seriously don't. Yeah, I don't see that happening. <laughs> I don't see that happening. That's all right. Uh, Mike, you don't want to have to work <laughs> What's oh, that, man. Derek? Am I, I off the hook? You no longer have the worst fit. I am. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Thank goodness. Even I worse just, than Thanos. I, that, I can't see mm. that one. That one, it's it's too close, and it would be in very poor taste if but he what? happens to die. Well, like a day or two after the. But movie what happens out. if it's one of those like assumed deaths? Like we don't actually get to see him die, but he's in like that wave that happens, like the snap. And then in the and then in yeah. the second film, like when they reverse time, it's like it reverses, and he's like okay. Mm, he could be. Again, this is this is the fun about this, right? I mean, he technically could come back in that second movie. He could be part of a big wave. All right. Uh, we are floating right back down to Mr. Lord of the Radio. Drax. Drax the Whoa. Destroyer. Okay. Between all of us, I think we've killed the entire Guardians. <laughs> well, we know... I was going to say, we know Drax. somebody from the Guardians Except is going to die. Drax has a lot of, again, story responsibility. Mm -hmm. And, uh, mm -hmm. you know, he's got his ties to uh, Thanos very strongly. Um, Good point. I forgot so about that. It's, uh, you know, and there is there is precedence in the comic book Watch, the only per the only character that actually ends up dying is Stan Lee. Like at the very <laughs> end. Like it's just Stan Lee. Yeah, it's just, <laughs> All of us are like, mother effort. And then, it's it's and then just Stan the Lee. final credit scene, he's back. Yeah. He just comes back. He's fine. Bitches. <laughs> You're like, this is the worst movie ever. <laughs> Nobody does. They know. They know. We're they have an ending like the Ewoks. Everybody's <laughs> dancing around. There's fireworks and stuff like that. Thanos turns good. He's like serving pie. Bunch of Ewoks <laughs> banging on Iron Man helmets. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, 
Yeah. No. <laughs> that would be fantastic. I oh, mean, I would God. laugh. Sorry, guys. Here's some pie. Yeah, but then then he's got Jim Lee going over and poking and Stan Lee and trying to push him, and he doesn't get off, and it's just sad. Mm. <laughs> This is true. So really funny here, um, and not to give anything away or, 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 or to leverage who, who you guys might pick next, no one has touched any Black Panther character. Yeah, no. of course. Because there Absolutely are not. several Black Panther characters <laughs> no. in this movie. Yeah, but they're going to be in like 10 like, more movies. No so. one's touching them. Like they're, they're, <laughs> they're, like, they're like the guy, like the, yeah, you just, you just, no, you just don't, you just don't even bother with that. Um, I'd be willing to bet, Mike, that if there were Black Panther characters that died that Marvel went back and rewrote the damn movie. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Prob- yeah. Uh, probably. Reshoots. Reshoots. Yes. Like, how, uh, how much money? One billion yeah. dollars? Oh, yeah. We can't kill them. Yeah, we need, we no. need butts and seats. Yeah. yeah. All right, Bevan, you are up. Okay. Uh, again, going with reason, and this person also has a stone, the collector. Is no! Oh, <laughs> that was going to be My your choice. pick next. Oh, yep, yep. The collector is going down. Well, Probably at the beginning of the movie as well. His, Casey, his you're, brother's going to be pissed. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Well, don't worry. He's uh, he's in a galaxy far, far away as yeah. well. Yeah, and so he got he'll, deposed. He'll be so okay. It doesn't really matter. He'll be okay. <laughs> he'll be okay when all is said and done. All right. It's it's floating back down to me. And uh, actually, no, Casey, why are Casey. we skipping me? What oh, have yeah, I yeah. done? Oh yeah, because you were late. Because you screamed. Because you're <laughs> late. <laughs> Leak comers go last. We uh, like I said, it's down to Casey. Man, we are we are running out of the uh, the the. Oh, you know what? I got one. I'm building on Sam. Uh, Maria Hill. You're going Maria Hill? I'm thinking every last remnant of S.H.I.E.L.D., whether it's Col- Nick, Col- Coulson, yeah. Lola the theory. Flying Car, yeah. and Daisy or Sky or whoever. I haven't watched <laughs> it in like five seasons. Who cares? Right. Mar- <laughs> yeah. Maria's going too. Wow. I think it's a clean slate of all your secondary characters. That's a bold, bold move. All right. When we come back, I will round out the fourth round, and we will go with our final round. released the full trailer mm-hmm. and i got to tell you balls forgiven fun. huh balls forgiven no okay <laughs> I, that's we, how all, most most star wars fans are like ooh this is going to be great i can't wait you know ooh, awesome i can't wait i can wait secrets of the sire Oh, caught you. <laughs> Welcome back to Secrets of the Sire. We do this every Wednesday night, 8 p.m. Eastern, talkradio.nyc. We pulled it off. Five podcasters, a radio station, 39 characters, death pool, Deadpool, Deadpool. Yeah. fantasy, draft. Uh, one more time before we close out the round, Derek from Comic Pros and Cons. No, no, before we close out, you know, we're just trying to get a roll call here, Sam. Roll call, yeah, yeah. 
Derek from Comic Pros and Cons, tell them about your podcast, where they can find it, when's it, when's it available, where is it available? Uh, my podcast is uh, basically we celebrate the true superheroes of comic books, the creators themselves. So I sit there and I talk to creators like yourself, Mike, and Woo-hoo. other artists and writers and editors and whoever is willing to sit down and talk to me about the process of making comics. Uh, you can find it at comicprosandcons.com. And it uh, comes out every Wednesday morning at 5 a.m. You can also get it on iTunes, Stitcher, and pretty much every other place that you can find a podcast. Woo! We're also joined by Bevin from the Adultish Podcast. Hi, guys. Tell them all about it. Oh, my gosh. Adultish Podcast films with Ming Chen and Mike Zapsik of Comic Book Men at a Shared Universe Podcast Studio. We also stream live on Facebook. You can find us on fanbolt.com, adultish.tv, and iTunes, and all the fun stuff. And we have Casey from Bad Coyote Funky. Tell them all about it. Uh, Roundtable, nerd news podcast, video games, comic books, you name it, everything in the geek world. Streaming live, mostly Thursdays, but this week on Friday at twitch.tv slash Funky. Excellent, excellent, excellent. All righty. We are getting back into the draft. We are ending round four. We're beginning round five. We're going to do five rounds. I think Hi, that's Mom. pretty good, and I think that's what we got. Uh, hi, Mom, as well, too. Well, she's on the Facebook. No, I know. Oh, okay, my great. mom is, too. I told you. Didn't Aww. We went through that. Come oh, on, sorry. Now. My mom doesn't watch this show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really upset now. Mom sucks. <laughs> no, uh, here is here's something I'm going to do. I'm actually going to take a page from our audience, which is what Sam should have done before he picked Stan Lee. Look at this competitive advantage. I am going to go with Brian Phillips' suggestion of Pepper Potts. Oh. Gwyneth Paltrow. Oh, I said, oh, see, there we go. I got a good choice from Derek this time. <laughs> Listening to other people. <laughs> so that is who I'm going to go with. I am also going to go uh, oh, with... Oh, you get back-to-back. Back. That's right. Yeah, I get the back-to-back back podcast now. Fine. This is a tough one. I am going to go with... Oh, Jesus, this is so tough. You know, Scarlett Johansson has a movie deal that they want to do with Black Widow, so I don't think she's going to die. We don't want to touch any of the Black Panther people because I think they... They're like walking on suicide. water. Right it's now. a sucker's bet. Chris yeah. Pratt is a bankable movie star, so I don't. And his story is still going to continue, so we don't think he's going to go. Though he could go in this particular film. I mean, That's it could all actually we're happen. About is just this film. Right? I know. I know. I mean, but you, you kind of weigh in where you, you kind of see who's going to who's going to bite the bullet or not. I'm going to go with uh, Mr. Paul Rudd, Ant Man. I know his movie comes out in July after Infinity War, but it takes place before Infinity War. You sure? I, yeah. That is the that? word on the street. Okay. Uh, spoiler. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? There's no spoiler. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. All right. <laughs> Those are my picks. Hey, Mike, I got to tell you, the Pepper Potts is a good one. There we go. I want to see an outtake where you get Robert Downey Jr. doing the what's in the box. <laughs> oh, <boy. laughs> oh. She's never going to live that down. Uh, Get it? Get it? Uh, She's ne- oh, yeah. no. Not as funny as the I, I thought the box was funny. I mean, well, the box was funny. It's, 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 it's in the joint. <laughs> it's in the side. All right. Sorry. Well, thank you, Mr. Brian Phillips. Uh, he is one of our Uber patrons as well, too, which we always love. And uh, all right. Casey. I, yeah, I oh know. We're running out of characters. I, this is where it's tough. I'm stumbling. I might have to pick a Black Panther character. And I'm going to say T'Challa. Will go down swinging. All right, in this movie. Oh, it's actually, you know what? Can I amend that? You oh, can. Boy. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but the choices of this are: if there is a character death in the movie, in the movie, in the movie. and they can't be resurrected in the movie, I'm going to go with Lady Death. Who? Who? Death. The personification of death. Oh, you in can't the go with that. Yeah, I gave you a list of characters. But Come it's on. a character name. All right. Okay. All right. <laughs> no, 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 no. Trying to. Ch- I gave you. I gave right. you a list of characters. Okay. No. Then I. Then I will cement T'Challa. If if someone here is going to be the first one to bite the bullet on Black right. Panther, it might as well be me. Um, I'm thinking he goes down swinging real good, and I also think it might be something none of us are expecting, and thus no one else would be expecting. Thing. All right, that's very true. I don't think anybody would be expecting that after the blockbuster true. sensation that was. Black I mean, Panther. but nobody's gonna think true. it's gonna last. No, that's the thing. It doesn't have to. This was very okay, hard okay. to say it, with a straight face. I know. Face. Yeah. Just, <laughs> <laughs> was, I'm trying. It just has to. Um, it just um, has to be there. That's it. Yeah. So, all right, Black Panther is off the board. Bevan. Okay. Um. Um. 
I could go with a ball he won or one that I think will actually happen because it's a safe one. Hot take, hot take, hot uh, take. I'm going to go with Wong. <gasps> oh, that's a good pick. <laughs> oh, man, uh, this has been happening all night. I beloved like manservant Wong. I understand. <laughs> that true. will hurt your feelings. <laughs> yeah. And he'll die sacrificing himself for Doctor Strange. Exactly, and that's who, going to make Doctor who's Strange Who's like, I don't even want to come back for the next movie. <laughs> no, <laughs> but that's it. They're just killing them all off. <laughs> Listen, there is not a scheduled Doctor Strange 2. Just saying. That's fair. Very... I feel like they only made Doctor Strange because they're like, we got to get this in, you know, the stone in this Infinity Stone and the Time Stone. We got to put it in there. Yeah. We got to make a movie. And then Benedict Cumberbatch is too expensive. And I'm like, fuck this next movie. Bing. <laughs> 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 All right. I, I, I think it's sound logic. Hassan, you are up next. No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. Yeah. This is it your final pick? Do you want me to throw out some names for you? Is this the right order? Yeah. It is. Yeah. It is. yeah. I got it right this time. You did. We've almost been confused <laughs> every <I> pick, round. <laughs> my <laughs> pick is the entire Black Panther movie. <laughs> Because I think the Infinity War is going to destroy that at the box office. (laughs) (laughs) Love it, but you can't use it. Darn it! You could use someone from Black Panther. I will rattle off some names. You have okay. Okay, sure. Sure, Sure it is. Sure, it is. I don't think they're touching the sister. I don't care what any of you think. I understand. (laughs) It's my opinion. It's my party, and I will pick your sister if I want to. Okay, great. She'll meme. Boom, as long gone. as he said it. She'll, <laughs> she'll meme from beyond the grave. Oh my god! <laughs> I think I think it's actually a solid pick. I, I, if I was going to pick someone yeah. from Black Panther, I would have done her because of the, again the emotional response and the fact that she could come back next movie. So who cares? Yeah, I think we're in good shape there. All right. Uh, and I still think the Black Panther movie is going down. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I actually Sa- do think that this movie will make more than Black Panther. Yeah, of course, it has to. Sam, you are up. What do you got? A Yoki? Oh, Yoki? O- Okoye. Oh, yeah. Okoye? Okoye. We're all just horrible, horrible people. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. The, le- the leader of the Dora Milaje. Hassan, Hassan is like literally sipping his, his water like racist. <laughs> <laughs> You're all but racist. I didn't say it. That's all that matters. <laughs> yeah, I didn't say Michonne. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. actually, I've been, I called her that Bal- the Bal- entire Michonne. podcast. Bal- when I was there. So I right. didn't even know that was Michonne until you said it, and then I then I really just like sucked it in and just pretended like I knew it all. She's all. also in the <laughs> yeah. <you're> like, oh, <laughs> she's yeah. also in the best episode of Black Mirror, Ooh. the museum one. Is she really? I yeah. uh, yeah. never watched the show, but heard good things. Also oh, good. Yeah, that's what everyone says. All right, Sam, what do you got for us? No, what did you do? Oh, you did. You did that. All right, Derek, you're up. This is it. Finish this <laughs> oh, off. <laughs> Try to put together the last pick. Roster. The last pick. Last pick. Uh, um, Scrape that barrel, my man. This is an easy one. I'm I'm torn here because if they they you know Mantis could go very easily, but I'm no. going to go with a big sacrifice to try and save his friend. I'm going Bucky Barnes. Yeah, no, it's a good. I think. See, I was debating between him. I feel like he's not going to make it through this. I really do. I feel like his arc also, unless he takes over for Captain America, which I think yeah. is going to go to Falcon. But there's that, a, there's that sweet, sweet contract money, my man. No, but there's, I, there's no. a reckoning coming be, from Bucky because of uh, Iron Man. Yeah. Because that still is unaddressed. Yeah. And even though, you know, and, they, and they nearly killed Iron Man because of it, you know? Yeah. So it's still, yeah. still going to be something. It's an emotional tie that needs to be tying off. All right, so here's the final rosters. My team is Captain America, Scarlet Witch, Hawkeye, uh, Pepper Potts, Scott Lang, and that's it. That's my team. Five. All right, Casey's team, Loki. All right, Thanos, which was a bold, yeah, just... a bold move. The boldest. The bold move. <laughs> no, he demands your silence. Gamora, which is a good pick, I think. Um, not to be fused with Gamora. Just trying to find. He's Maria Hill, player. which I think is terrible. And T'Challa. <laughs> Casey, you have the worst team so far. My teams could kick your team's Bevin, ass. Vision, yep. followed by Heimdall, followed by Doctor Strange, followed by... Who else did you pick? Wong. And you also have one other person in there, and I can't read where it is, but I'm sure it's in there. I'm sure it's a wonderful pick. It's Dr. Strange. It's Dr. Strange. The Collector. collector. Oh, and the Collector. Oh, the Collector. That's a very good pick. Yeah, very, very well done. I think my team rocks. I'm going to die with honor. You have Iron Man. You have Hulk. You have two of the big guys right there. Um, You have Coulson, which was a good pick, surprise pick. I like that one. Um, Drax from Guardians of the Galaxy. And Shuri from Black Panther is very good. 
Uh, we'll and wrap Black it up. Panther movie. Derek, you had a terrible team. It was awful. It was very good. <laughs> Wonderful having everybody on. We were out of time. Sam's picks were awful as well. He picked Stan Lee to die. Next week, it's just me and Hassan, and we're going to be talking Infinity War review. Bye. You are listening to the Talking Alternative.